Okay, so I'm going through a mental breakdown right now, and um, it's a nice sunny day, and I got out and I did some stuff. Um, it's my day off. I have laundry to do. I have dishes to do. I don't want to do either. I'm basically working two jobs, and then my life, other than my two jobs, is to come home, do laundry and dishes, and that's it. That's my life, and then these videos. Going insane. Going insane. I went down to the beach today because it's my day off and I wanted to get some sunlight uh, before I do my chores, my dishes and and whatnot. Uh, circadian rhythm, get the sunlight in your eyes, feel good, la di da, I get to go to the beach. So I went off and I drove um, to this beach kind of in the hills, kind of, I guess, in the bougie rich people hills, which is probably the mistake that I made there. Um, and I was walking along the shoreline, and then there's this um, girl, um, maybe 24, 25, with a king shepherd, like a big German shepherd, just going fucking crazy. And I'm, um, oh, nice dog. Oh, no, he's not nice. And she said it in such a threatening way. And, like, such a get the fuck away from me way that's like i don't know if i look like a rapist or what it is um i don't like the gated community types this wasn't a gated community i wasn't trespassing it wasn't like that but the gated community type which seems to just fucking float around in some sort of alternate un universe where they can instead of having a conversation with a person threaten them with a dog and then tell them with their body language and tone to fuck off and that they're not even a person it's very fucking weird and that fucked up there that fucked up my day until now i was on a bit of a fucking i was in my feelings after that one um because it, it pressed a button like i'm kind of i don't want to get on this misogyny fucking thing like it's all women that do this because i think that's a mistake i think the andrew tate shit is a mistake i think if you go down that it's a poison and you don't want to ever blame one group of people or one social group. It gets fucking messy fast and you don't want quotes like that pinned to you. But from what I see locally, his smiling and being friendly isn't really working for me. And I don't know, like it kind of works. Like you can't expect like someone to be a friend just because you say hi to them. And this goes male and female like you can't just be like oh hi and then like all of a sudden you're friends it, friendships are rare they don't happen spontaneously like that and you got to cherish them when you have them and they're really hard to maintain because it takes months to build a friendship sometimes years and it can take like 10 seconds to ruin it so i'm not expecting just like to say hello to somebody and like be best friends but i do kind of somewhat naively expect a hello and a hello back instead of like uh either the silent treatment like the selective hearing thing or the fucking sometimes like you'll be talking to somebody in a work environment and they'll tell you to just shut the door on the way out instead of having a little kind of nicety talk or something like that so i mean there is that and then i guess I'm kind of drifting into incel territory with um, my failures with women, but I'm not losing hope, and I gotta have a thick skin and and I mean be nice, but like being nice only goes a certain way because you can be nice and you can be stiff too. And I mean, I think I'm on the autistic spectrum, and I think my breakdown I'm having right now is more of just a burnout than an actual like psychotic break. Um, but like when you're really nice but then you're also stiff and you maybe don't have um as much social skills or you don't want to try as many new things or you, you're kind of stuck at home doing dishes and shit and i mean <clears throat> there's it seems like i'm kind of dancing here but it seems like um People here are into two categories. They're either the 50-hour work week, work, uh, work week grind set dudes that try to get like an ultra-traditional woman that'll just kind of stay at home and 
and um, take care of the finances or whatever that is. And then the other set is kind of like the Luddy da kind of Tesla driving blue haired people that kind of just are going to sushi restaurants and living carefree and I'm I'm neither of those so I don't fit in with either of those and that's the polarization that's happened here and it seems like the archetypes are that there's the working man and then there's the lazy man and then there's no archetype of the in-between man of trying to have a balance but at the same time gets burnt out and has to sit at home doing dishes and laundry and when he's working two jobs it's it's weird and then when you're just looking to have these slight moments of niceties between people like oh hey how are you oh that's a nice dog and then um instead of like a a little bit of a conversation they are essentially threatening you with the dog it's man like i was in my feelings all day about that and um yeah and it i don't know i think i'll end it there i mean it's it seems to be people are angry now and it might be social media i don't know but anyways um definitely privilege and people that were never punched in the face as a kid or something i don't know somebody that um like this this girl probably has a father that gave gave her a car for her 16th birthday and i'm assuming like i'm i'm doing the exact problem now that i'm kind of alluding to but i mean she gave off that vibe at least um and um i don't know not that i want to get flagged or doxxed or anything but like kind of stuff like this it, it makes me understand why things like 1917 in russia happened you know um there needs to be at least some sort of respect and some sort of hope. Anyways, peace.